Well, hey there, it's Daniel Mitson Short, back again with another Book of the Week review. And before I get started, I want to ask you a question. When was the last time that you asked somebody in your life for help? Was it during the last week, the last month, or the last year? Chances are you probably haven't asked anybody for help for quite a while. Why? Because you probably feel like asking shows weakness or inferiority, or it shows that you're not competent in some way in your life. But what I have learned through reading the book, All You Have to Do is Ask, is that the reverse is actually true. This book can show you the power of asking and how it can actually influence others to help you more, how you can be more of a contributing source in the world, and just get ahead further in whatever it is you want. Now, I first discovered this book when I was looking for books specifically on selling skills. As I've started my own business over the past couple of years, I've had to get better at selling myself and my business to potential customers. And the ability to ask for what you want is one of the core skills of selling. However, there aren't a lot of good books out there specifically about the ability to ask. So when I came across Wayne Baker's book, I was very interested to see what he had to say about why we don't ask people and more effective ways to ask in your life and to get what it is you want. One of the most important lessons I learned early in the book is that in our culture, we tend to have an over-reliance on self-reliance, meaning that we're not willing to ask for help or we're not willing to go out and seek advice or counsel from others. Instead, we just try to do everything ourselves in our own way and make it on our own terms. Now, while this has sort of an idealized you know, thing in our culture where we're all self-made people and we're forging ahead in our own way, the reality is that if we're going to get ahead in our lives, we need the help of other people and asking them is usually the best way to do it. But the problem is that we don't ask because we've been told since we were young that it's better to give than to receive. We shouldn't be asking for things because that's presumptuous or it's selfish or it's greedy. Instead, we should be willing to give to other people and be generous. That's the way that you get ahead. Well, in this book, Wayne Baker talks about the fact that giving and receiving are linked. And so he says that it's better to give and receive in your life and be open to both. If you're only willing to give to other people, you're never going to benefit. And most people won't just proactively give you things back. You have to actually ask them for what you need. Once somebody asks, then a person can give and then the receiving can happen. And usually this creates a reciprocative cycle. So giving and receiving becomes much more natural between the two people. But it always starts with the asking. If somebody doesn't ask, then nothing happens. That's just the truth of the situation. The next big lesson that I learned from this book is that most people are more than willing to help you, but they aren't aware that you need help. And this is true. When you think about it, generally speaking, if someone came to you and asked you for help, you would be more than willing to help them in most cases. But you're actually unaware that people need help and you don't just proactively reach out to give them help without them asking, right? Well, it's the same for everybody else in the world. There's a lot of people out there who have the resources, the knowledge, the contacts, the ability to help you in some way that could really further you in your life. But if you're unwilling to ask and to let them know that you need help, they're probably not going to just proactively give you the help without you asking. So the asking really triggers the generosity of other people. And we have to realize this when we're looking at things we need in our lives, whether it is to make a sale, to meet someone new, to learn something, whatever it is, we, by asking, trigger that generosity in other people, the same as it would be triggered in us if people asked us. And perhaps the most important lesson that I learned from this book is that very often the reason we don't ask for what we want is that we're not clear about what we want in our lives. So if you have the opportunity to meet someone who would be a really helpful person for you, you have to be clear about what it is that you need in your life and that you could ask them for. Now in the book, Wayne Baker suggests using the SMART acronym as a way to really refine what it is that you need in your life that you're going to ask for. So something that's specific, measurable, action-oriented, realistic, and time-bound. If you put that criteria on anything that you're trying to ask for, you'll find that people are much more open to potentially helping helping you because it's very clear about what it is that you're asking them. Whereas if you have just a general ask about maybe getting some help or something like that, sure, some people might be willing to help you, but they don't know specifically how to help you. Having that specific clear need defined and then being able to put into an ask makes it much easier for you to actually get what you want. A couple of other really important tips that I learned from the book. Number one is to not underestimate the power of dormant 
ties. These are the people in your life that maybe you haven't spoken to for a long time, but that maybe you're connected to through, say, Facebook or LinkedIn or just old friends that you haven't seen for a long time. Very often those people, even though you haven't seen them for a long time, they're more than willing to help you if you just reach out. They're actually excited to hear from you. They're glad that you reached out to them. Same as you would be if an old friend reached out to you. And if you have a specific ask, something that you need from them, most of the time they'll be open to potentially helping you. So don't underestimate the power of dormant ties in your life and think that you can only ask the people that you know. Another great tip is to ask people who you should ask. Very often, if the people you know in your life don't seem to have the resources or the information or the contacts or whatever that you need, you can actually ask them who they might know who might actually be able to help you. And very often, they'll put you in contact and they will start the asking process off for you. Doing this is a simple strategy, but wow, does it work when you want to get ahead in life. People love to help other people and they especially love to introduce you to other people who they think can help you. It's just one of those things as humans, we're generous and we want to support each other. And so ask people who you should ask for help is a great tactic. So the big question is, do these ideas really work? Well, over the past month since reading this book, I decided to put them to the test for myself. And I made three specific requests to three people in my life to see if they would help me. And guess what? Three of them said yes. I asked someone if they would help me to learn guitar and they said yes. I asked someone if they would be interviewed for my channel and they said yes. And I asked someone for advice of who they might know who could give me recommendations for a city I'm about to travel to. They put me in contact, I chatted to the person and they gave me great advice and suggestions and even offered to take me around on a tour when I visited the city. And it just goes to show if you're willing to ask, people are willing to give. And therefore, you should be asking more in your life for small things, for medium-sized things, and for large things. If you know what it is you want and you need in your life, and you realize that other people are willing to give just the same as you would be willing to give if people asked, that frees you up a lot more to move ahead a lot quicker. So my friends, would I recommend this book? Absolutely. All you have to do is ask by Wayne Baker is a great book. Particularly the first half of the book is more about the psychology of asking and how to implement it into your life. The second half is more useful if you work in a corporate environment or in teams or things like that. It'll help you in that way. But overall, this is an excellent book to change your way of thinking about asking and to get you more success in your life. My name is Daniel Mitson Short. If you like this video, please, I ask you to leave a like below. I ask you to subscribe and ring that bell to stay in contact. And most of all, if you have something to say or to share about your experience of asking, please leave it in the comments below. I'd love to read it and to get to know your experiences. So once again, thanks for watching. And as always, thank you for improving yourself.